Hello and welcome back to the channel. In the previous lecture, we have installed MR Job, Python, as well as the Nano Editor, which will give us the capability to run our Python MapReduce job on our Hadoop cluster. So, if you haven't installed them yet, just watch the previous lecture and follow along with me. So, this lecture is all about running the MapReduce job on your Hadoop cluster. So, what we are going to do? So, we are going to get the required files where we will get the data to play with as well as the python mapreduce script which you can run locally as well as the hadoop cluster but as you already know that on our linux virtual machine we cannot access the data stored on your pc so we have to manually download it by using the wget command so let's do that first so here i have uploaded the required files in my github repository so in the Hadoop repository, I have uploaded the Python file as well as a data file. So if you can open it, as you can see, this is our Python file, which I'm going to explain you in detail while executing it. And also we have the data file, which is ratings.data. So this is nothing but a data file, which we are using as an input to our MapReduce job. So it basically has the movie information. So it will have the movie, movie ID, and the ratings which is given between 1 to 5. So let's download the files in our Hadoop cluster now. So as usual, our first step would be to open Oracle VM Virtual Box and run our SDP sandbox here. So I have kept it in a running position as it takes a while to run all the services on our cluster. Once you ran it, okay, so I hope your cluster is up and running. So now let's just open the putty terminal and login as emery underscore dev at the right localhost and the port is 2222. I hope you have saved this session to save some time. So just open it. And again the password would be maria underscore dev. So you are logged in in your virtual machine. So if you hit ls command, there is nothing there. So to download the file, we have to use the wget command and download our files which are stored in the git repository. So just follow along with me. So just type wget https colon slash slash raw dot github user content dot com slash ashe partil 11 and our directory is hadoop main branch. So just type slash main slash so just first we'll download our ratings.data file, which is nothing but a data which we're going to play with. Ratings.data. So just verify once for the typing error, as well as I'll be mentioning these commands in the description below so that it will be easier for you. So just hit enter. Yeah, our first file has been downloaded. So it's time for our Python script now. So just again type wget https hyphen slash slash raw dot github user content dot com slash ashe patil 11 slash hadoop slash main which is a branch name slash and our Python script file is movie ratings dot py. Just see the capitalization here. Hit enter. And that's it. If you hit ls now, as you can see, both our files are there, movie ratings.py and ratings.data. So we have all we need to run our first MapReduce job on our Hadoop cluster. So now you have two options to run our MapReduce job. So the first one is a local. So you'll just execute the Python file to your local machine, which is nothing but our virtual machine. So for that, just give like Python, the script name, which is movie ratings.py. And then we have to pass the input file, which is nothing but ratings.data file, which contains all the ratings. But if you are using a Hadoop cluster, you have to submit your job to get the benefit of parallel processing. So to do that, just give like Python, the file script name, which is movie ratings.py. And then you have to give like hyphen R Hadoop. So you're just telling your machine that you need to submit this job to Hadoop. But if you're using HDB sandbox, you have to manually provide the jar file location. 
But if you are using EMR or any other services for running your MapReduce job, you don't need to worry about that. You just mention like hyphen R Hadoop and the data file, which is input file. So in this case, ratings.data. So these are the two methods which we are going to execute now. But before executing the job, let me just show you what our Python script will do. So to do that, just you have to open it to the nano editor. So just put like nano and our file, which is movie ratings.py. So this is our script. So basically what it does is it will import the MR job and MR step from the MR job package. And here we're defining the class, which is ratings breakdown and it will inherit all the capabilities of a MR job, which we imported from MR job package. And then we are defining a mapper function, which is mapper get ratings and the reducer function, which is reducer count ratings. So what they will do. So here, as you can see, we are having four columns, basically user ID, movie ID, the rating and timestamp, which we have seen in our data file. And what we're doing is we're using split function to split the values as per the tab limited because our values are separated by tab character. And what we're doing is we are yielding the rating, which is the key and we're assigning one to each and every rating value. So what it does is it will just create a output of key value pairs in which the key will be the rating and the value will be one. So this is how your mapper function will do. The next one is a reducer function. So what we're doing in reducer is we are yielding the key, which is your rating and we're doing the aggregation function, which is sum on your values. So what are your values? Yes, you're right. The values will be one. So what it does is it will calculate the total number of values for each key. And at the last we have executed our class, which will run the whole program. So the output will be the ratings, which are one to five and how many time it occurs. So that is the whole functionality of our MapReduce job. So to get out of this, just click control X and we're ready to go. Okay. So first we will run our file locally. So to do that, just type Python, give the script name, which is nothing but movie ratings dot py and space just give the data file on which you have to run our job. So the file is ratings dot data. Hit enter. As you can see, our job has been completed. And here you can see this is the distribution of all the ratings. So here the fourth rating has been given by user 34,174 times. And the lowest is one rating, which users have given 6,111 times. So this is the distribution of the ratings given by all the peoples. So I think you got to know that peoples are pretty generous while giving the ratings as the four and five. I'm seeing that the highest ratings given and this job hardly took five to six seconds to execute since the data is not that very huge, but if the data is somewhat larger means in the gigabytes or petabytes of data, then you have to execute it on a Hadoop cluster. That is what we're going to do right now. So to deploy this, you just have to type like Python, the name of the script, which is movie ratings dot py. Then you have to give like hyphen R and give Hadoop. So we are telling our command line to execute this script on our Hadoop cluster, then give the jar files. So in this case, you have to manually give that. So just give like dash dash Hadoop dash streaming dash jar space slash USR, which is user slash HDP slash current slash Hadoop dash map reduce dash client slash Hadoop dash streaming dot jar. So that's it. This is you have to provide manually if you're running your script on HDP sandbox. And after that, after space, you can give our file, which is nothing but ratings dot data. That's it. Just check again for the type errors and don't worry. I'm going to provide all these commands 
in the description below so that you can just copy and paste it to save your time so just kick that off and our job is running now so here we got some logs here are some results here you can see that the job output is in hdfs so basically it is creating a directories in hdfs to store the logs as well as the temporary files so with no surprise the four star is the most popular rating and the one star is the least one so this is a pretty small data set but if we, in the real world you will deal with a very large data sets which you can run on the hadoop cluster and take the advantage of the parallel processing of hadoop so that's it for this lecture so in this lecture if you have ran our first map reduce job which is a huge accomplishment and you should be proud of yourself so what we done is we have just got the required files from our github directory then we have understand our map reduce job which is written in python and we have then ran it locally as well as the hadoop cluster so i hope you got the clear idea how the map reduce works under the hood and takes advantage of the parallel processing of the data i hope you like this lecture so please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media that i have linked in the description below thanks for watching